fellas. Episode number seven slash six. Let's just <laughs> let go of that. It's episode six. Never We're never getting down. it back. <clears throat> um, how you doing, Mister uh, Shaved Inside? Fucking hate people like you, dude. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm hanging in there. You're hanging in there. Yeah. Let's. Uh, we were talking earlier. I don't know if we want to start off with this, <laughs> but we were talking earlier. Do you wanna? You wanna share your adventures of last night? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's dive into oh. it. Let's dissect it. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know if you're looking at me right now, but I'm not. I'm just <laughs> looking aimlessly. It's like that dude from Mr. Deeds. He's all over the place right now. Uh, <laughs> no, he's got his he's got his shades on. That's why. All right, go ahead. Anyway, um, so hanging out with a couple of buddies of mine last night, and you know we're having a couple beers. I was just hanging back. Like, I'm just having two beers, drinking water. Like, I really don't feel like drinking at all, you know, because I don't really, I don't really party hard anymore. But, um, I was like, oh, you know, I got an edible. I guess I'll take it because, I mean, it makes, helps me sleep better. This is probably about like three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I take it and, uh, <clears throat> go to sleep. I wake up probably around six o'clock in the morning just high out of my mind like I was trying <laughs> to go to the restroom and it felt like an earthquake was happening <laughs> in the moment even my vision was shaking like it was weird it's like I was like your mind. eyes were kind of yeah so it's freaky how do you feel now still I feel the repercussions of it it's I thought awesome. you were in jail for sure I thought <laughs> you got locked up 100% <clears throat> Kate usually answers uh, an early morning phone call, no matter what, but yeah. Uh, yeah. not this morning. <laughs> I use weed for like medicinal purposes. Right. You know what I mean? Like to help me go to sleep. Right. I don't do it to get high, man. I don't actually like the act of being high. It just yeah. makes you feel... It makes me feel like yeah. I'm not in control, you know? Yeah. Oh. So definitely, uh, mm -hmm. I could see how it'd be easier to fall asleep with that. <laughs> not so much... Uh, like and noon yeah. on a Saturday. Function during the day. Yeah, because when I get high, <laughs> I get really paranoid. I start overthinking stuff like easy. And uh, if I go out in public, if someone's looking at me, I'll be like, they're fucking staring at me. <laughs> he fucking knows. You're kind of like that regardless. I can only imagine how much this <laughs> is. Yeah, it's Enhances true. that. I just, I, <laughs> man, it sucks. Yeah. So, um, just on that topic, what do you th when do you think it's going to be federally <clears throat> legal, if ever? What, and what do you think is holding it up? That's that was that's years. always been my question: is what the oops, what the hell is holding it up? Got a bunch of old white guys running our government. Yeah. That's the stereotype of what it is, what it's for. Well, okay, is it that? Take some younger. Do you people. think it's that they don't, they don't like, they don't like it, so they're not <clears> gonna <throat> vote in favor of it? It's or... just viewed as like a criminally, like a criminal act. Still, yeah. you know what I mean? Which. It shouldn't be, because it's really not. There's a lot of worse shit out there that's legal, but... Mm -hmm. um, is, uh... You guys ever heard of that drug, Salvia? Is that... That's legal, isn't it? Yeah. What yeah. is it? Um, I Let's think check. they actually, uh... Made it illegal. Okay. Because um, Spice. Remember Spice? Yeah. That was... That was legal. <laughs> Believe it or that. not, Salvia is federally legal in the United States. Yeah. <clears throat> which, which, to me, is crazy, because, like... You know, I think one of the arguments is that weed is mind altering, but like I've, you know, I've seen that actually a uh, Daniel Tosh had something where I don't know if he actually took it. Did you see that? Yeah. Where he tried to do that obstacle. Course. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about mind altering. That is altering of every sense yeah. that you have. So right. it's kind of like that. Ah, there's just so <laughs> many things that just don't make sense about it. But yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah. I don't know what this is. I've never heard of this salvia. It's it's, it's a hallucinogenic. You smoke it like <clears throat> marijuana. And like uh, Elon Daniel Tosh, <clears throat> when they're doing that segment, they like have a couple smoking it and the guy is like avoiding the floor and he jumps out the window. Yeah. See? Like, that's it. Fucks you up, dude. It's like, like it's hallucinogenic. You're, at, you're completely out of control. Yeah. Like physically, you... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just not for everybody. I've seen firsthand how some stuff, maybe not like hardcore shit, but some stuff definitely helps people function a lot better yeah calms them down calms their nerves down <clears throat> yeah i think the argument for medicinal cannabis makes sense maybe not all the other stuff but 
Um, I don't know anybody that's making an argument for some of the other stuff. <laughs> Crystal but, uh, meth. Yeah. <laughs> Methamphetamina. Breaking, breaking Bad, <laughs> baby. Move on. What do you guys think about Antonio Brown? Um, explain it to me. He's back. Yeah. Seahawks, right? We're taking a look at no, him? He, oh. he signed with the fucking Buccaneers. Oh, he signed. A team. He officially signed one year, league minimum. He'll be eligible to play, eligible to play week nine. Um, Tom Brady just keeps on proving that he can't win without an absolutely stacked team. He already had two of the best receivers in the league. His his running back's a top running back in the league. He has a top offensive line, top three defense. Yeah. He's playing okay. He's not playing bad. What, I, I what is the the Bucks record right now? They're four and two, but they're in four first place of the of their division. So do you have any connection to the Bucks? No. For Tom Brady? I mean he's my favorite quarterback of all time. It's yeah. my childhood hero. Yeah. I mean, it's okay to cheer for them. When Peyton left the Colts, because I'm a huge Colts fan, I it was like Colts, and if the Colts are out, then I was then cheering Denver. for the Broncos. I wanted to yeah. see Peyton succeed. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably <clears throat> do the same. I don't know what that's like to be a fake fan. I've always been a Browns fake fan. fan. Shut the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Was you a Colts fan before? Though? Yes. Yeah. See, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, man. I've already talked about my connection to football, and it's slim to none. I was basically a Colts fan because, you know, he was a Colts fan, and I was like... I don't really have a team. I'm a Colts fan. You know what I mean? Actually, yeah. uh, in the closet there, I still have that. Uh, oh, do you? The yeah. let's go thing? Yeah, I still have that shit. Let's go. Um, Should put that up somewhere in here. But yeah, no, I, I like. I just like competition sports, period. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I still catch highlights of football. Like I was watching highlights of the Eagles-Giants game today. Who's your favorite oh. player in the uh, NFL right now? Daniel Jones. Favorite player in the NFL right now. Um I like McCaffrey. <clears throat> yeah. Um who else? Who else? Who, I like DK Metcalf. Not gonna lie. That mm. dude's a beast. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Can't believe he dropped. I was so pissed. Colts passed him twice. Yeah, what did he go in the second <clears throat> round? Second round, late. Yeah. He's the biggest, animal. fastest Why? receiver. No idea. Ball. No idea. Um, I think people just I oh, know, go ahead. I was gonna say I think people just thought he was gonna be like a combine freak but you look at it like like a john ross that dude went in the top 15 top 10 that dude only because he was fast that's fast. it that's it that was literally the only reason he's the Bengals though didn't he request a trade yeah he's gonna be out of there soon <clears throat> he, regardless they're not gonna sign him yeah. but who's your favorite player in the nfl right now yeah can you take a guess tom brady stefan gilmore no it's cam newton lamar jackson oh lamar yeah oh yeah it's hard okay. not to like players like that, <laughs> yeah, like a, because it reminds you of who. Yeah, exactly. Like it reminds me of Vic. Yep. You know, and like Vic, he, like when we were kids, he was like the cheat code on Madden No Four. Yeah. And like even still today, you know, mm-hmm. like I mean, he's cool. I mean, because I mean, like with the quarterback position, you know, when you look at when you think of a quarterback, you think like a white tall guy pocket passer mm-hmm. right but tom game, brady huh tom brady tom brady pay manning Did you see joe that montana. dude's 40 in the combine though joe montana <laughs> yeah. i'm pretty sure i can run backwards faster than he ran that 40 yeah so like when you see like players like mike vick lamar jackson deshaun watson um russell wilson mm-hmm. like those guys they changed the game for sure because you had the actual Tyler. element of speed Level, yeah. man. If I, Lamar was a better passer, he'd be unstoppable. Well, let me go out and say this. I'll go on a limb. I've told you this before. I'll say it again. I think Michael Vick <clears throat> is one of the most overrated quarterbacks in NFL history ever. Yeah. Explain but yourself. I think he revolutionized the game. He never had more than 3,300 passing yards, yards, which is mediocre as shit. What about and that was yards? already when he was 10 years into his career. He had over a thousand rushing yards. Okay. I, well. But that was once. I would give him credit. That is hard as that's hard as shit to do. When Lamar did that last year, I couldn't even fathom being able to do that. But he's a quarterback. Granted he was both, but I mean that same year he had over a thousand yards. He only had two rushing touchdowns, only had twenty passing touchdowns. He had eighteen turnovers. Yeah. He's never he I mean his highest career passing touchdowns was twenty one. Yeah. He was good. I, I think you have to think about what the landscape of a quarterback was at the time. No, I get Which that. is why he's saying that <laughs> yeah. he changed the game. Like, he kind of set the foundation. Like, even back then, what he did mm. was pretty unheard of. Besides, maybe uh, Randall Cunningham was kind of like that. 
right? Steve Young? Yeah, yeah, Steve Young. Steve, Steve Young. Like that, but, I mean, but I mean, Vic, it was different because Mike Vick was like from the hood. Yeah, he was, he was a highlight reel too. Yeah, he was a highlight reel, exciting to watch, way faster and elusive than Randall Cunningham, mm -hmm. like, by far. Is he but, faster uh, than Daniel Jones? <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Did but, you see that? No. <clears throat> ran faster than Lamar Jackson. Daniel really? Jones Daniel reached Jones a top speed like of like 21.2. Jeez. Yeah. Do you know who he looks like, right? Watch, uh -uh. pull up the Google Doc, like pull up the drive. <laughs> You've never seen Danny Jones? He's like a, almost a carbon copy of Eli Manning. That's true. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, he had a he broke an 80-yard run, reached a top-end speed of like, I think it was like 21, 21 point like two or something like that. Damn. And he <laughs> broke an 80-yard run, wide open, took off, flew past everybody. And fucking tripped. Oh, you know what? I did see that. I actually yep. just watched that <clears> today. <throat> it's funny. And he was this, like, you could tell he was like trying to just <laughs> he's trying to guy. stay up. That oh guy's God. that guy's faster than Lamar Jackson. That's crazy. <laughs> but I mean, if you think about it, these are all like super just athletes. He was like, no. <laughs> Anybody who gets breakaway speed like that's obviously gonna be able to kick it on and like yeah, but, you know what I mean? So like Mike Vick, like Mike Vick was like really excited to watch. You know what I mean? And yeah, changed it. You know, he made he made a football like really cool, really hip. You know, because yeah. at that at that until position, it's all about people who are from this, like this pedigree. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hall of Famer, Mike Vick. He should be. He I might think have already been so. out. Do, do you think uh, his Hall of Fame um, potential is maybe taken down a little bit from his uh, the dog fights. the dog fighting thing? It took know. two years off his career, but Ray Lewis murdered a guy. Marvin Harrison was really? a little iffy. Yeah, Ray Lewis is like <clears throat> allegedly Cade. Come on. <laughs> He, yeah, that's pretty well known that he was like, yeah. had an, and that was early on in his career, huh? Yeah, I didn't know Went that. on to have a great Hall of Fame career. Yeah, man. I don't know All how Baker's going to make man. it after getting tackled by that cop. Remember that? Did you guys see that video? Who? Baker Mayfield. He got tackled by a cop? Yeah, back in his like high school, high no. school, uh, college <laughs> days. <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see Michael Vick. I don't know. I don't think he will. Personally, based off stats, I think he'll get on like when he's like 70, though, for how he. I mean, there's so many. He's such a polarizing player. Mm -hmm. and everybody, you know, was just it was just something new. Yeah, it was like that one movie, uh, Any Given Sunday. You ever watched that? Mm -mm. Never seen it. <clears throat> anyway, but like, I think he'll get in as a contributor. He made NFL pretty popular. Like he, he obviously, it's like Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? He, Michael Jordan made. I'm not saying oh, they're the same. Jamie Fox. Yeah, I've seen this movie. What's up? Said I have seen this movie. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, but internationally he made basketball huge and mike vick did that in the united states he made it uh more appealing right i think what will hurt him more than the uh his arrest would be and i hate when any football player when this happens to them like any great football player when they start bouncing around from team to team towards the end of their career mm -hmm. it's like they kind of like just give it up when you know you can you know what i mean I, I totally understand them wanting to continue playing but like he played for one two three teams in the last three years of his career it's like just couldn't land in a. I mean, he just wanted to keep playing, but those were his last three years. He only had ten touchdowns total. It's funny that you say that because I just watched um, this like documentary. I can't remember the YouTuber, but he made a documentary on um, career backups, like or or quarterbacks that jump from mm -hmm. eight to ten, sometimes eleven teams. I think Josh McCown I was, was just about to say Josh was an eleven McCown. team mm -hmm. uh, quarterback. Right, well, yeah. They can make a career off that, but uh, but the other thing, um, sort of on the same topic is, uh, do you guys remember Deshaun Kaiser? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What happened to him? Uh, didn't he? Did, wasn't drafted. he drafted in the same draft as uh, Chiefs Patrick as Mahomes? Patrick Mahomes, I think so. And I think I think the Browns picked Kaiser before. He... Patrick got no he was a second rounder he was a second round okay yeah second rounder but yeah it was that same draft class what, here's what happened to him he got drafted by the Browns he got drafted by the Browns he got thrown into the fire 
Yeah, that was the same draft class. He got thrown into the fire, and then like I, I always hate talking about like bouncing around from team to team. I hate when players like this. He's still only twenty four years old. He's mm-hmm. not a, not on a team this year. He got drafted three years ago, so he's twenty one years old. Yeah, got thrown on a shitty team, a team that didn't win any single games. Mm-hmm. Can't put that all on him. That's yeah. totally everybody else. And he gets traded the next year to be the backup. Like immediate, you're a pretty high pick. Have one bad year and you're done. You know, and I put that more on the Browns sucking yeah. ass than I, him I re- sucking ass. I read an article that was basically saying the Doesn't Browns, suck ass. the Browns destroyed his career. They destroyed a lot of players' careers. If we're yeah. being honest, when these teams draft somebody or when these teams hire coaches and move on from them after a year, yeah, it really frustrates me, man. Like the Browns are notorious for that. They've had so many coaches with like go one and done. You can't expect somebody to get something done like that any traction when you're like like that yeah it's like hey you have a year or otherwise you're out like look at baker mayfield he's already had four head coaches and he's only been in the league for three years Mm -hmm. it's ridiculous yeah it's ridiculous but sorry you're good um did we already talk about antonio brown yeah we very briefly what okay sorry i i was Already he, thinking about something yet. else. <clears throat> he's just locked in for a one-year deal, got signed with the Bucks. It was the Bucks. That's the right. The Bucks. Okay. Yeah, they don't yeah. need him. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> him and Tom Brady are really good friends, actually. Are they? Yeah. You know why he's not in the league, right? Why he didn't sign? There was, like, he was refusing to show up or something like that. He had or... one of the most, like, tumultuous years uh, I've ever seen in the NFL. He came off such a great year. The Raiders traded for him. Then he had like this weird thing where he burned his foot in like a cryogenic uh, chamber wherever okay. he didn't wear the proper shoes. So he couldn't practice for that. Then he had this weird dispute. He wanted to wear this helmet that he's been wearing for his whole career. And it was like a helmet that was banned by the NFL. They weren't going to let him wear it. So he was missing practices for that. Then he went off and popped off on the Raiders GM, called him a cracker. <laughs> Al- allegedly. Allegedly. Um, yeah, everything is allegedly. And then, yeah, and then they find him. And then a week later, or no, excuse me, a day later, he apologized. They made him apologize to the whole team. And then a day later, he requested their tri- uh, they re- he requested to be released. They cut him that day, voided all his guaranteed money. It was like thirty million dollars or something ridiculous. And then he signed with the Patriots later that night. And then he had like two sexual assault allegations. I think two of them back to back. And then they cut him, and he was just done. Yeah, but he did. He got arrested. He got suspended for eight games. He was like in court. They put him in like uh, not a straight jacket, but like one of those protective jackets, so he doesn't hurt himself. And there's like a video of him with his kids yelling at his baby mama and like cussing her out right in front of the kids, and they're like little tiny kids. It's sad, man. This dude totally. He took a couple bad hits to the head, and I, I'm positive that's has a huge factor in why he blew up like that. That C E T, C T E. I've never seen a player figure. switch like that. Switch yeah. that crazy. That's that's a actually a really curious topic too because, um, like that's a real thing. Think about all the uh, linemen from the sixties, sixties, uh, like the seventies and eighties, mm-hmm. that you know some of them lost their ability to talk. Some of them had something happen with all the head injuries that they just basically went crazy. You know what right. I mean? I um, <clears throat> with a contact sport like that, do you think there's ever there's any sort of technology that'll limit that to the point where it's it it, it can be a safer sport. I always wondered about that. Do we'll, I don't we'll know. Get to a point where where CTE just... isn't like a huge issue in football, especially after they retire. Yeah, I think they'll just keep doing a lot of research on the helmet, redesigning it, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But that's what they're doing right now. But it's never going to be fully safe. Like you just take one random hit and you're. It doesn't even have to be like a super hard hit for you to you just get hit right right in the right spot and you're yeah it's done no they're they're probably just going to continue to change the game the game's changing big time like if you look at it back in like the 70s compared to now that's yeah, pretty rough that's pretty rough back then but i know a lot of people get pissed and say they're just ruining football and that's the whole point of football but yeah don't really give a shit to be honest like you know what i mean yeah. you gotta people who never played football yeah Does, yeah exactly. i mean i mean i think about it <laughs> Like, from a standpoint of, like, if I was playing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? If I was playing, I'd probably be like, put me in the backup quarterback <laughs> slot, make me a kicker. Exactly. Something like that. Because <laughs> because you want, 
And then like, mm-hmm. I would just probably be smart with my money. Uh-huh. Like, like, let's just say I was a, a kicker and I'm getting paid 800 K a year in the first mm-hmm. three years or whatever, but I'm a pretty decent kicker and I'm staying in the league. 800k a year is a lot of fucking money. Dude, that's and, less and there's, than the minimum. And there's tons of ways that you can invest and spend 800k in a smart way mm-hmm. where these other players that are going bankrupt after getting after sci- making tens of millions of dollars and I'm just sitting there going how? But, you know, it is was and is partially that they don't get the you know, they go from not having any money to here's millions of dollars. So it's really hard to um, manage that. I bet you that another money. thing of that too, though. So like say somebody like Antonio Brown, there was rumors that he went broke. Like he was one of the highest paid receivers in the NFL. Mm-hmm. And then it was like gone like that. So if you think about it for him, he's he's playing at such a high level. He just got, he got a decent contract. He's got this money coming in. I know I'm going to still be good in like three years. I know I'm probably going to get another contract. Let me keep it up. So it, probably burn through their money thinking that they're going to have more coming in than it could just be gone like that. You know what I mean? Like they think they have this money coming in. That's not, I mean, dude, you can get, you can break your leg and be done. Mm -hmm. Never get, never get a good contract. Yeah. So happened with, well, so it's probably going to happen with Dak Prescott after he broke his ankle. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, truthfully, how are you supposed to handle, you know, like any one of us, you know what I mean? What if tomorrow you signed a deal where you're making for the next year, only the year or two years, we'll say, but it, like somebody's paying you for a talent that you have, but they signed you to a contract for two years, for example, and you're going to be making a million dollars over the two years. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just for example, that first of all is life changing. And I I'd think st- it's hard for a lot of people not to go. I'd still do this podcast. Huh? I just want you guys to know that. I'd still be here doing this podcast every Saturday with oh, you yeah. guys. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe not every Saturday. But yeah. No, I guarantee. No, yeah, he, no, I yeah, know. He'd be out on vacation like <laughs> uh, <laughs> sleep until twelve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting. I, I couldn't even shots, fathom bro. what kind of shots. Take shots. <laughs> I couldn't even fathom that kind of money coming in though. No. I genuinely couldn't. I mean if if you really put it into perspective, 300K a year is a lot mm-hmm. of money. You know what I mean? That is a lot of freaking yeah. money. Yeah. And and they go from nothing to millions. Mm-hmm. Well, the way the college football is set up too, where, yeah, they, they got their scholarships to good players, don't have to pay for anything. They got their meal plans, you know, their housing paid, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. But they can't have jobs. They don't have income. They don't have money. They just can't. Mm-hmm. So to immediately go from that to being like yeah. signing your rookie contract. Now these rookie contracts, they're signing bonuses. A lot of them are these high, high draft picks are guaranteed right off the bat. Well, mostly not. I think has anybody signed a fully guaranteed rookie contract um, lately? I think. I don't know. See, I mean, the only but anyway, that comes to mind is Jamarcus Russell. Yeah, <laughs> that guy fucked it up for everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> He sucked ass yeah. so bad. The Raiders draft, right? Yep. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you literally go from one day having nothing to the next day having money like that. Yeah. Tens of millions. I mean, I'd be lying if I said the first thing I wouldn't, that I, first thing I would do is probably, I'm just, I like cars. So I'd probably buy a car, a pretty expensive car. That'd probably be the first thing. But at the same time, I would still section it out where I'm able to invest a certain part of it to where, you know, having all that money. Mm-hmm. Um, I want it to make me money. Like, I think of it in terms of Andrew Luck. Like he was, and he talked about it, how how he was smart with his money. You know. What I mean? So like now, even though he's out of the NFL, he made a lot of money. I bet you he invested it well enough in his tenure in the NFL that he'll be fine for the rest of his life. So. There's players, even like players you wouldn't expect, like Marshawn Lynch, mm-hmm. Rob Gronkowski, right? They don't. Immediately, if you're thinking of like the smartest players in the NFL, they're probably not two people that come to your mind. Both those guys are like famous for not even touching their contract money. And they're, you know, they only, all their contract earnings they have put away in there. Only, they only spend like their uh, endorsements, endorsement deals. Yeah. And like, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. <clears throat> I, I, I was watching uh, Bar Rescue. You guys ever watched that show? Mm-hmm. There was an episode where Marshawn Lynch had his bar on there. Really? Yeah. It's a, it was a shit show. It was run by his family. <laughs> Oh, okay. His he has like his cousins, his aunties, all those people running it. It is a shit show. It's a cool bar. It looks cool though. It's in Oakland. Mm-hmm. 
But um, yeah, I don't know. Just had to bring up Andrew Luck. Yeah, I had to, had to ruin my day. Yeah, wasn't that dude still on a flip phone for like the longest time? Probably still is. <laughs> Miss that uh, guy. I don't know <clears throat> if I could uh, like you know, being smart with your money's one thing, but <laughs> he doesn't like, need it. He just doesn't need that kind of stuff. He's into books and architect and God knows what else. Yeah, doesn't need social media. That's true. I mean, no one really does, but no, that's yeah. a whole other topic. Yeah. Um, this is probably not on the same same spectrum, but uh, watched a documentary recently about uh, good old aliens. Nice, Tom Lazarus. Was it that one? No. Um, you know what I'm thinking of? The one I keep talking about. I think I've talked about it a few times with uh, Bob Lazar. The guy that's, that worked that's at what I meant, sorry. yeah, I don't know who the fuck Tom Lazarus is actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's uh, I don't think we've ever talked about this as a as a group. Mm. What's uh, what's your take? Is there something out there on aliens? Yeah, well, I grew up in the alien capital of the world, man. You did, yeah. Kind of McDonald's uh, shaped as a UFO. You think this guy doesn't believe in aliens? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I think there is. I don't really know. I I won't go into much depth because uh, I just don't know, man. I think there is. But well, well, it's fun do to I care. It's fun to speculate. Yeah, I do care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? How the fuck did you pull Tom Lazarus out of your ass? This is like Lazarus. a very, very like not well known screenwriter that wrote movies I've never even heard of. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> These are probably some weird ass oh, movies. Can <laughs> <Tom Lazarus. laughs> we read you the titles? Oh huh? no, I'm just fucking with you. What, what movies? Yeah, what what is Tom? Who's Tom Lazarus? Stigmata, Mazes and Monsters, Just You and Me. Oh, kid. Just You, Just You and Me, Kid. I'm fucking me. I already know you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of TV movies. Anyway, move know, on. Yeah, I don't know who Tom Lazarus is. So I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway, you don't care. Is that what you said? I mean, I can't, well, nah. I mean, I think that all that stuff's really interesting. Like, inner, <clears throat> inner dement, wait, no, that's not right. Um, <laughs> interstellar travel. Yeah. You know, like, what's out there that's really cool. Cause it's like the ocean. I find the o- ocean fascinating just as I do space. Yeah. You know? The ocean's it's, fucking terrifying. It is. Yeah, mm. sp- ocean and space are two unknown territories known to man yeah. and woman. So it's like. I don't even know. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> be inclusive. No, it's it. Okay. Here's how I see it. it. There's no way that there's nothing out there. If you, once, once you look into how big or how small the earth is compared to like what's out there, there's no way in hell that there's not other shit out there, mm-hmm. but it's kind of weird. Well, I guess not, but like, you know, you see these stupid ass videos of UFO sightings and shit like that. And it's like mm-hmm. with the technology we have now, and how long people have been around and how long there have been UFO sightings. How come there's not been something more like definitive, you know? He, well, I guess the only thing that I can think to answer that is, you know how much um, widespread media is controlled? You know what I mean? So who knows what they're actually letting out there? And the other thing is, you know, I, I, I think part of that documentary or maybe another one that I watched was that if they can't control what actually gets out there, they will manipulate it in a way that it seems fake. You know what I mean? So a lot of things go out that that, like a lot of things might get released and go viral that come out to be fake. So it creates this, um, I forgot the term, something doubt. Um, I I don't, I can't, I'm not going to remember something doubt, but basically there's enough fake mixed in with maybe real that everybody goes, who knows? You know what I mean? It's all fake. You know what I mean? Or, or, uh, making a joke of it, you know what I mean? So if something comes out that's real and then kind of playing the, Oh yeah, aliens are real. You know what I mean? But like, but they're saying, yeah, aliens are real, but they're making a joke. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of ways to maybe like disguise or cloud it, uh, make it weird. But, um, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of pilots. You guys all right? Was that I was oh, did you kick it on somebody's foot? Sorry. <laughs> um, so, Navy, I think it's Navy pilots. Um, the ones that are like out on the, where they land on the on the uh, hangar that's in the Air sea. Force. Well, yeah, but I think it's a part of the Navy too. Um, I don't what know. Branch. Don't quote me. 
I don't know, dude. What branch? The Navy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, those pilots, a lot of the times, they'll find stuff that they can't explain. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they'll find things that have, like, no... You know how, like, a jet... Like if it's yeah. flying through the air and has like a heat sensor on it, <laughs> yeah. the stuff coming out the back to make it go forward, it can be seen. The thrusters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm being serious, dude. The thrusters, no, man. No. I'm talking about the stuff that's coming out of the jet. No. It's not what he's saying at all. No. <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyway i got you they're, they're they're seeing this stuff you know what i mean and there's like real accounts of this actually happening yeah and uh nobody cares well that's what trips me out well didn't the pentagon come out like not that long ago and like confirm that there was ufo like actual ufo sightings like yeah early 2020 and well that and everyone uh, forgot about all that shit what is that thing called where they're going to explore space now or like the, military? the space force space force do you think? Do you that's think? Fucking thing. stupid. Do you dude. think one day they were just like yeah, SpaceX? Let's create. Yeah, we've had this conversation. Already. <laughs> I, know. Last, I always forget the last one. I yeah. Think. <laughs> um. Do you think they just woke up one day and go, "Yeah, let's just go ahead and throw in a, a space defense team"? Like there has to be a reason. The biggest waste of fucking money ever. Yeah. Do we really need another branch military to like police the fucking space when we can't even get? Can't even get like good healthcare, but yeah, it's cool. It sounds cool. No, um, it sounds kind of stupid. If I'm being honest, it sounds like what's that little cartoon with the troopers with, you know what I mean? They're like little puppets or claymation or whatever. Super troopers. No, GI Joe. No, no, no. Super troopers. It's like an adult movie. Oh, no, it's not super troopers. It's an adult movie. Oh, it's by the South Park guys. Yeah. Yes. Anyways, it sounds like something stupid like that. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, space troopers. Well, That's what. No, what the fuck. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, uh, no, like it, I mean, I yeah, I think it's pretty stupid. Don't get me wrong, but like to be in that, like let's say they're like, "Hey, we yeah. need you to jump on <laughs> police the galaxy." I'd be like, "Dude, yeah, that's cool, man." <laughs> I, I, see I highly doubt they would be looking for <laughs> somebody like you. If they're like, Cade, we need you to be a part of the, the Space Force. And Cade goes, yeah, dude. That's, <laughs> that sounds the, cool, is man. Is that the Elon Musk? Are you Elon Musk? <laughs> Are you Elon Musk? <laughs> this is your project. He's like, well, I get to meet Elon Musk. Do I get a Tesla or? <laughs> I uh, Yeah, that's just such a big waste of money. But uh, yeah. you're, you got to be onto something. They wouldn't be putting that much money into it for nothing. Yeah. That's going to yeah. piss uh, me off. Well, kind of, you know, to, I don't think we've ever really talked about this either, but somewhat of the same line of thinking. You guys believe in extra, not extra, extraterrestrial shit, um, paranormal, paranormal, like ghost stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. I should have just said ghost. I tripped on my words way too much there. For, <laughs> You're all, for the, the easy uh, word. <laughs> extra, um, <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> ham, uh, uh <laughs> yeah. Ghost, a hundred percent, man. I mean, we're all, we're all, God, Spanish descent. Right? Yeah, we're Latino based, right? You can say Hispanic. Hispanic. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You can say Mexican. Technology. It's cool. Anyway, so <laughs> we all know, like, we grew up with like Brujas and the La Llorona and the what? Uh, La Llorona and uh, all that other stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got you. You and sound like that movie. Did you ever see that La Llorona movie? I had did not see it. I heard I never, it was bad. I, I started watching it. It was pretty bad. I got like 10 minutes into it. But when they were doing the commercial, because it's La Llorona. So I just say, say it. it La Llorona. La Llorona. But when they did the movie, they were, the announcer guy is like this white dude. It's like the typical like movie trailer guy. Yeah. It's like, come see La Llorona. Like it's oh, exactly yeah. like that. Which is okay. It's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I never grew up like with the Bruja shit and the N- I, that, that I didn't grow up with. But honestly, we did. Either. I did hear the that like story. In our, in our, yeah, yeah, no, I get it's you. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, a like, culture. Yes, Brujas. Man. Yeah, no, I the uh, I definitely. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you dabble in belief. Dabble. What you dabble in belief, believing? No, no, no. Like I don't know. It's like kind of hard to deny sometimes. 
you know what i mean it's also hard to explain too yeah you know yeah. i try so hard to say it's not real but i'm in the middle of a yeah tell us about it tell i'm us in the middle story. of a paranormal yeah Thing. If, yeah we've if all, you want to share yeah yeah no we've always so me and my fiance have always kind of thought something was like we've always gotten that vibe that there's like you know you get the vibes yeah like you feel yeah. like someone's watching we have music kick on all the time um we'll have stuff randomly fall but we've never i've never been to the point where i was like actually scared mm -hmm. my dogs will randomly like get up and like look at the door and just like start growling all the time my son will like look at nothing and we'll just be like hi hi like all the time. Yeah, and they say that kids can see yeah. that see that shit a little bit more and in a, his a lot room, more than we can. We have the little uh the little Alexa thing in his room and we play his music at night and like that music will kick on randomly all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. It always plays like oldies music. That, so that one's semi explainable, maybe not the oldies music. I don't know. But those Alexa things are I have a hard time funky. getting that bitch to work when I want it to work. So like the fact that it just goes randomly. Yeah. But anyway. So anyway, so last week we were all hanging out. We filmed our podcast last week. I got home pretty late, like at three in the morning. Fell asleep. Woke up at like five o'clock. My son was screaming his screaming his head off. Wouldn't go back to sleep. So my fiance went yeah, and got him. Tell me about it. She went and picked him up from his crib and he like started pulling her, her hair and he started like trying to choke her. And she said his eyes were rolling back and she like yelled and he, he kinda like snapped out of it and hugged her. Brought him back to our room, um, laid him down. Still was just super like uneasy. Yeah. Played for like an hour or was up for an hour. Then he like started playing. So we put him back to bed at, like five in the morning and he just kept like crying and going, no, no, please, please. And, like didn't want to be in his room. All right. So we walked in his room. We're like, he needs to go to bed. It's five o'clock in the morning. Mm. I walk in there and I just like, I just get the like chills. I just get the worst vibes ever. Yeah. So I kind of feel like an asshole. I sound like an asshole. That I walked in his room, got the vibes, and just left him there. We put him back back down in his crib, put his music on, went back to the room. He kept crying, so I pulled up the monitor to go check on him, and it was just like white staticky, like the screen just like shit out. Mm -hmm. Never has it ever done that. The very next morning, it was perfectly fine, like it was working again. It just shit out that morning, and I like looked at it, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Like I was just like, let's just ignore it. Go to bed. Yeah. Act like nothing <laughs> happened. And then the, later that week, I go to work, and there's this this girl that we work with, who does stuff like that. She does like spiritual healing, and mm -hmm. what else does she do? Uh, I don't know. Stuff like Honestly, that, you know, yeah, like that, like auras and energy. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. And she yeah. randomly asked me. She was like, she was like, "How's your son doing?" And I was like, "Oh, he's doing pretty good." And she's like, "Is he sleeping all right?" Like just randomly, just randomly. randomly. Yeah. Are you like sure you never talked after. about it before or anything? With her, no. I'd never known. Did you know she did that? We worked with her for four or five years. No, no, that. I, I worked mean, with her for. Yeah, she's a year. always I talking know. about like moons. And Some of those kind of people. Okay. It was just weird. And then that very same night, yeah, it was just weird. So she she like left and she brought us. She came back like an hour later and brought me like some stuff to burn. Sage. So, uh, it was like a mixture of stuff. Okay. And then it was a uh, Polly Santos. You ever heard of that? It's like a type of witch brought something like that. I think this was called. No. Could be wrong. Um, so anyway, so last night I had another experience. I didn't tell you this. So we were playing last night. You were ordering McDonald's. Had to randomly get off because he started crying. So I went and got him. He wouldn't stop crying. So I picked him up, took him to the kitchen. I was making him another bottle so I could put him back to sleep. And he just, he goes, who's that? Please, please, no. And I was like, fuck me. And he's only a year and a half. So he Are you by, he, by yourself? It's just me and him in the kitchen. Sarah's okay. home. She was asleep. But he just said, please, no. And I was like, all right, fuck it. You're not going back in that room. So I... I laid him down with us, and he, like, tossed and turned. Mm. But, man, I've just been getting weird vibes in that house lately. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. And I try not to because, you know, it sounds so stupid. They always say, like, just don't even act like you're afraid because if you're afraid, that makes, like, yeah, generally it makes stuff worse, whether it's up here or if it's something yeah. else genuinely happening. So I try so hard not to think about it. But when he's, like, getting freaked out, then that freaks me out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like you said, little kids do yeah, more intuitive. It's, man, it's really... That would be especially sorry, especially dis difficult for me because like I'll get in my own head like oh, real bad. Yeah, dude, I I can <clears throat> just go off on the deep end of like hearing stuff and all that. You know what I mean? That was fucking hilarious. So like probably like a month or two ago, so we have a little chandelier that hangs in our room, and I, like if the, if this is the bed here, it dangles to the side. So I pulled it, you know, so it would be more centered, and I I screwed it in, hooked it in, so it was hooked up to the wall, mm -hmm. and then one morning. Or one night me and Sarah were asleep. And like I said, we've always had some stuff happen. This was before Beckham was like freaking out. 
but um so you've always had stuff like even little when you things in? like i said i've never genuinely felt like scared or worried or anything like that but this this one day, night it was like three or four in the morning and i just heard like a like a little like a thump and me and sarah both woke up and i look over and that chandelier was like no joke like swinging like this Jeez. Uh, but yeah. but, but, what, but house, what happened dude. what happened <laughs> Is the I think the little screw just fell out. It just got too much. Oh, yeah. I don't know what made it fall out randomly. It'd been up there for like three or four months, but the little hook fell out and it you know dropped. I didn't fucking know that. I woke up at three in the morning. I just see it swinging like this, and I, I remember my heart like literally stopped. And yeah. I was like, "There's a fucking ghost." There's no, there's no denying it now. Yeah. And then I realized I think, I mean, I'm still trying to justify, it, but it's weird that it just randomly fell. Yeah. Did you get a ripping deal on your house? I did. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. What'd you do? Got a good I, I deal. asked him if he got a ripping deal on his house. <laughs> no, you know, I don't know. I've always had weird shit like that. But then if you, what trips me out is if you talk to everybody and everybody's like, yeah, I've had a, I've had a paranormal experience. I, I feel like everybody so, says they have. So that's what makes me skeptical. Mm -hmm. well, everybody can't, you know, yeah. if everybody had these kind of experiences, then it'd be more widespread known that that's like a, a genuinely real thing you know mm. yeah. i try not to worry about it but yeah some shit's hard to deny yeah, mm. yeah. burn some sage man i, I heard that stuff today were you yeah sage that stuff jackie brought us mm -hmm. a little poly santos shit is burn. it like religious thing or is it like a rock i don't, I don't know. know what that is so she'll probably never watch this so it doesn't matter but she gave she brought like a little bag and it's just like a bunch there's like little rocks a bunch of like powder a bunch of shit like herbs do you leave it in the bag no, so there are these little coils, these little black things that we're supposed to light, and then you put it, excuse me, you put the stuff in it, and you burn it like that, and it burns. And well, Sarah put it on a plate. I didn't know how hot that coil got, so I went and grabbed the plate, burned the fuck out of my hand. I don't know if you can see. So it's not a good sign, dude. You know, like in the movies when they grab the cross and it like burns them? That's what I felt like. Yeah. Well, I mean, so it, are you lighting it on fire? <laughs> huh? Are you... It was on a plate. It was sitting on a plate like that. I go grab the plate and burn myself. Oh. But do but, you light? Is there something that you light, or you just? Yeah, it's like a little coil. But it, you light. It gets hot. Like yeah, the yeah. coil gets hot. You you get it and it like sparks, and then it just keeps going, and it's like burning. Okay. I don't know how to explain it. Well, like but, heat can <clears> transfer, so that's not that yeah. crazy. I mean, well, was it if, like a glass plate? Ceramic. Well, I mean, well, still, dude. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, she was just like, she's like, if you want. I can I can give you I have cards I've written down everything that's in there. She's like it's a lot of powerful shit, so she told me, and I didn't care. You thought we were just fucking around with her. Yeah, I thought we were just messing around. With her. But the fact that she's like that intuitive about stuff, that she felt the need to like come back like within an hour and bring me shit, I was like fuck. You're all she thinks I'm doomed. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No. It's it's weird stuff, but you know, it's like it's just like with the. Uh, aliens thing you know what i mean yeah well, you never know right yeah that one's a little maybe a little different yeah. well well i'll say like from our standpoint we don't know you guys ever have any guilty pleasures of any of those ghost shows oh yeah dude ghost adventures um yeah that one know. was ghost adventures that's the one with the guy with the spiked hair he always wears like affliction and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah you ever watch that episode with post malone no. It's fucking hilarious. You should watch it. It's funny or is it scary? No, it's funny. Well, it's scary. Okay. That show I used to love when I was younger. I remember one time, me and my buddy, Angela, remember that? Mm -hmm. Um, he stayed the night at my house and they're like my parents were out. Yeah. That guy's I, fucking, I didn't fuck with joke. that shit. But anyway, you guys were always like, Let's go to a let's go to yes, a haunted house. And I was the, the, I, literally uh, me, I was like, Fuck you guys. The I'm insane, not going. The insane asylum. Yeah. Yeah. That dude's house was haunted. I won't fucking lie to you. But I remember anyways, I remember watching Ghost Adventures. And like I said, my parents were gone. We we're in the living room watching it. It was raining outside. Lightning hits. It was kind of freaky. And then uh, they were doing something. You know, on that show, they'll ask them questions and they play it back, and you can hear it on the recorder. Mm -hmm. They said something. Lightning struck my house. Like I could see it, like light up. All my all my power went out. Jeez. Fucking terrified, dude. In your house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't watched. Which one? Um, the one, the with the pool. That used to be by your house. Oh yeah, yeah. I. I've had a lot of experiences, but I try not to worry myself about that yeah, kind of shit. Yeah. But we did always try going to that insane asylum when I we were never younger. Went. I was I was always like, fuck you guys, I'm not going. Do you want to go, kid? What? You want to go to an abandoned insane asylum? 
year, man. See, it's crazy that you guys are the only ones that... You would You two are the only ones that went. Why, dude? You'd be fucking around the whole time. I already know you. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, that reminds me. So there's a ghost <laughs> uh, where we work. There's a, uh, supposedly a ghost there. His name's Henry. Where? Right? At quarters. Mm-hmm. And uh, I never knew about it. And then people started telling me stuff, and we've had, we've heard some shit. I mean, I was like, before all this stuff happened with Beckham, mm-hmm. like the week before, I was fucking with it. Like, everyone acts all scared, and like, I was like, no, fuck Henry, he's a little bitch. Like, I was saying stuff uh, like that. See? And Kate's like, dude, can you walk with me? I gotta go turn off the lights. And I'd be like, why are you scared of Henry? Henry's a little pussy, dude. Don't be scared of him. And then I think he fucking followed me, dude. That's dude. when I started having weird shit happen in my yeah, house. Don't be, don't it's be been doing quiet at quarters. <laughs> I was just trying to be funny. <laughs> You know, and now my life is fucking <laughs> ruined. Oh, yeah. Man. Are you scared of Henry? Of course, man. Have you heard anything of quarters? I've only heard two different things. Just some little shit. I haven't heard a lot in the year, two years? A year. I was there a year. You I were mean, never there that late, though. Like, I yeah. always, always stay with him to close up. We're the absolute last ones to leave there. All lights off. Like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it's it's not pleasant. Yeah, it's some freaky <clears throat> stuff, but yeah, you know, I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, if I'm not here next week, you guys know why. <laughs> um. Oh. Well, yeah. I think that's it, man. That's it. Yeah. We covered not that many topics today, but I think we talked about Got a, a good shit. insight. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, thanks Montanique. for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, follow us on the website News. Abbott Apparel at Abbott Dodge AVXD dot Apparel on their Instagram and Facebook and website and Facebook. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe and you know, leave a comment yeah, or something. Man. Like, <laughs> yeah. what, 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 what else do they say? Make hit sure the you notification go ahead, bell. Hit the How notification bell so you don't miss a thing. There you go. Right? Yeah. Do that show. <laughs> so, all right. Cool, we out. Cool. We out. Later. Later. Later.